Hi there, good morning. It's Thursday morning. This is Sharon Taylor, and I am coming to you with Blessings on the Beach. We come on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings to provide you with a way to have a meditation or devotional for your morning to begin your day in an intentional way of focusing on God, on God's Word, and reflecting on what it means to live in the identity of being a child of God. And so today we're going to be using, again, Henry Nouwen, uh, Father Henry Nouwen. And if you don't know his writings, they are just wonderful. So there are many. He was a prolific writer. So I um, invite you to, to check those out if you haven't in the past. And so we usually have a word for the day. And today our word is connection. And we are reading, from, again, from the inner voice of love. And this meditation is entitled, Stay United with the Larger Body. Your own growth cannot take place without growth in others. You are part of a body. When you change, the whole body changes. It is very important for you to re remain deeply connected with the larger community to which you belong. It's also important that those who belong to the body of which you are part keep faith in your journey. You still have a way to go, and there will be times when your friends are puzzled or even disillusioned by what is happening to you. At certain moments, things may seem more difficult for you than before. They may look worse than when you began. You still have to make the great passage, and that might not happen without a lot of new distress and fear. Through all of this, it is important for you to stay united with the larger body and know that your journey is made not just for yourself, but for all who belong to the body. Think about Jesus. He made his journey and asked his disciples to follow him even where they would rather not go. The journey you are choosing is Jesus' journey, and whether or not you are fully aware of it, you are also asking your brothers and sisters to follow you. Somewhere you already know that what you are living now will not leave the other members of the community untouched. Your choices also call your friends to make new choices. So, I like, you know, whether we are always aware of it or not, we are connected to a larger whole. We've talked about that many times on Blessings on the Beach. And uh, what comes to mind as Father Nowen writes is the Apostle Paul's image of the body and us, all of us being members of one body. And I love that he express, expresses that tension between forging our own spiritual journey, but at the same time remembering that our journey is connected and affects others in the body. And so I was just thinking, are we choosing Jesus' journey as he suggests? I don't think it means that we have to replicate exactly all the works of Jesus, but perhaps it means that we choose to journey with the heart of Christ, that every day we get up and we ask to be filled with God's spirit. We ask to be filled with the compassion and the grace and the forgiveness and the mercy of Christ. Um, I don't always do that well. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I meditate and spend time in prayer every day. Because I need to be reminded of the connection that I've forgotten. I need to remind myself that I'm not on this journey alone. And I need to remind myself that part of my purpose is to make choices for divine good. And so I hope that that encouragement helps you today to remember that you are part of a greater whole and a greater purpose. We're part of God's bigger mysteries and we can choose to stay here and see this or we can choose to expand and open our view of the world and all the created order. So I pray that today you open your heart, you open your mind, to connection. Where am I connected today to God and to others? So thanks for joining me. Uh, we invite you to join us on YouTube for our worship service, which is Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And you can find that through our website, stpeterfmb.com. You just scroll down the main page and you click on the, on the YouTube channel. So I hope you'll join us for worship. And if not, I will see you back on Tuesday. 
Have a great weekend.